Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheka.com and welcome to a Photoshop beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that's very common when it comes to learning Photoshop, and that's something called masking. I am not entirely sure if all of you have heard of masking or what it does, but regardless, I'm going to teach you everything that you should need to know. At least I'll do my best. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and go to file open and choose the picture you want to use I'm gonna open a picture of Trexton rocking the shades look at those beastly things so the first thing you want to take care of is unlocking your layer by double clicking the lock on it and then you can leave it layer 0 and hit OK or you can just name it Trexton because that's the name of Trexton that sounded a little bit retarded but true nonetheless Okay, so let's go ahead and add a mask, which is this icon right here. And when you add the layer mask, you'll see that you get this white box next to it. And that's your mask. So before we jump into anything, you guys are probably wondering, what is a mask? Well, masking is essentially hiding all or part of a layer or image. At least that's how I look at it. There's probably a dictionary uh, definition of it somewhere, but that's how I like to look at it. And that still probably doesn't answer your question, so I'm just going to give you a very quick rundown and demonstrate. So the first thing you need to know about masking is that white represents something that you can see, and black represents something that you cannot see. And then any color of gray represents a certain opacity like a dark gray means you can see through it but you can still kind of somewhat see it there and if it's a light gray you can still see it but it's still a little bit see-through that still probably doesn't make too much sense so I'll just kind of demonstrate for you so with my mask selected if you go to your brush tool and if you swap your foreground color to black by either just swapping this right here or clicking on it and going down to black if you paint in in the corner you can see that you can see whatever is behind it in this case there's nothing behind this layer so you're seeing that checkerboard that Photoshop gives you so just to get a better idea of this we're gonna go ahead and create a layer below this by hitting uh, the create new layer icon while hitting the control key so that should make a layer below it if not just click the create new layer and drag it below and we're gonna fill this up with white by hitting shift backspace or option delete and we're gonna use white mode normal 100 percent opacity and we'll hit OK so now we've got something behind our layer so anyway as you can see wherever I paint in black Oops, I had the wrong layer, uh, long, wrong thumbnail selected. So we'll undo that. Make sure you have the actual thumbnail selected for your mask. When you're painting in black on your mask, that's where something becomes see-through. You can't see it at all. That's why you're seeing the white layer that's behind it. Now, if I wanted to bring back this picture, I would have to swap back to white and start painting in white on my mask and it will start bringing in that uh, start bringing that image back so as I said earlier what happens when you use gray well let's go to a light gray and we'll hit OK we'll paint right here and as you can see you can actually see the image but you can kind of see through it and since there's white behind it it looks a little bit lighter than it's supposed to but if we were to use a dark gray and we'll do that over here you can see through it a lot more but you can still kind of notice that there's an image there okay so how is this useful what use does this have to anyone well one of the most common uses besides just kind of hiding things to make them blend better is to cut someone out of a picture 
So if you really wanted to, we'll set that back to black. You could actually take your brush and just paint in around your person. Okay, so as you can see, you could actually use that to kind of cut someone out, but it just doesn't look all that realistic, and it's a poor job. But it works! That's all I'm trying to get this point across to you, is that you can use this kind of method of masking to get a person out of an image. But I'm assuming you would actually like to know the right way to cut someone out, so I'm going to go ahead and go over that too.